We're here at Shorter University, and we're joined by head coach John Mosley, Elizabeth Dowd, Erica Baker, and Anna Graham. First, we're going to have Coach Mosley talk about the game today. Uh, well, obviously, we got off to a really slow start in the first set, and uh, played a couple of freshmen in, in spots that weren't used to playing due to some injuries. And kind of got off a nervous start, I think, and Florida Southern is a great team, and so we paid for it. And, uh, but we, were, we recovered pretty well, competed the last two sets, and, and you know, ended up outdating them by six. Of course, part of the reason is because they hit so much, but played some great defense and battled, played hard, and uh, I thought competed pretty well the last two sets you know, under the circumstances with, our, uh, with a different lineup than we've been using all year, missing you know, one of our seniors that's uh, a you know, great player. But our freshman stepped in and did a good job. You know, Florida Southern was just too much for us today, but we, you know, we, we played hard and competed, so I was, I was proud of that. Now we're going to open the floor up for some questions. For the players, can you talk a little bit about the match and how you guys recovered uh, to compete with them? And Well, it was a big, big deal losing somebody like that. We had, we had battled some adversity at the beginning of the season when Lauren Meyer, one of our right sides, she got injured as well. Um, we just really, we talked about it as a team, and Jasmine was always there encouraging us, Lauren was always there encouraging us, and Coach tried a lot of different things. We were playing crazy positions that we've never played before, but it all worked out. So we just tried a lot of different things, and we decided that we were going to come together, and we were just going to play as hard as we could. Um, we talked to a lot of different people, even Coach's wife came alongside. We're all kind of like a big family, so it's cool that everybody has their input and helps us out and things like that. Can you guys talk about the, the step this program took this year? Um, it was a huge step in our program for us to be able to make it to the NCAA tournament. Um, as far as even just winning regular season, that was a huge step for us as a team and a family, like Anna said. Did you guys know it was possible before the year started, or is it just something that as the season kept going, you just built confidence and realized that you could do this? Um, yeah, I think it was possible. I think we like always had the mentality that we like believed in the people that were on the court. and. Um, so we just believed in each other. I think it was one of our goals, and it's nice to you know meet one of the goals at least. Then uh, moving forward, how does this uh, affect the program? Just coming to this uh, tournament and knowing you can make it, um, and affect your goals next season. I think it's a huge step for the program. Like Coach said, we had a lot of freshmen out there today, and they did an awesome job. We had she's a sophomore. You might have thought she was like a fifth year senior because that's what she looked like to me. But we had people stepping up like crazy, and it's just awesome that these girls know that they were out there competing. Yeah, we lost Jasmine, and she was a huge part of our team, and you can't you can't replace that. But we had people coming in doing awesome things, and at the beginning of the season, they would have never thought that they could. Have done. And so now they know going in next year because really me and Eric were the only ones out there that won't be there next year. And so our defense, those were all young girls, and they were playing awesome. So I think that built their confidence a lot, knowing that they can make it this far and play with some incredible teams. As, as seniors, how does this make you feel that you were the part of this and moving forward if this program continues to excel the, um, the imprint you left on it? Um, we definitely met, uh, like you said, both of our goals as far as a team. Then we met the goals of winning regular season. So, I mean, we have a ring waiting on us, but, you know, we were really proud to make it here. And um, we wanted to go further, but, hey, you know, we have set a standard for the program, and they know that they can make it now. And so that's a big deal going out like this. So. Coach, did you expect the, a season where you, you, you won the, the conference and made the tournament? Were you expecting that heading into the year? Well, you know, I – West Florida has won the Gulf South so many years in a row. I'm not sure you would say, yeah, I knew we were going to win the Gulf South regular season. You've got to respect the team that wins it every year. It's a great program. Um, but we knew that we were capable of competing with West Florida and Valdosta State and, and UNA and the other top teams in the conference. You know, people just don't know who we are. But we were in AI for, for a long time. In the last two years during our transition to the NCAA, we finished second in the Gulf South Conference both years. Um, we beat the number 10 Division II team in the country at the NCCAA tournament a couple of years ago and uh, went back to the Final Four at that tournament last year. And, and so we knew we were capable. We just knew that no one knew who we were. And um, so that was a goal to, uh, 
to see if we could win the regular season golf style championship and um, and then to make the NCAA tournament. That's something we talked about at the beginning of the year that we were eligible now, finally. And um, we don't have a lot of goals uh, as far as number of wins or championships or whatever. We're more of a day-to-day -day goal. And, and, and I hate to say it because it's cliche, all coaches say it now, but really we've always been more about the day-to-day -day process of getting better and being the best that we can be and not talking about, you know, we're going to win this and that and whatever. But we did, talk, we did talk about making the NCAA tournament. That's the one exception. You know, that was before the year we said we want to be there and, and we have the talent to be there. And, and you know, it's, it's a tremendous step. Like they said, we've been, we've been very good in the past, but coming here and uh, doing this and being the first short university team to do this is pretty special. And um, so I'm really proud of them. And, um, so yeah, it was, it was been a great year. And we had some adversity at the end. And, Wish we could have been here in a little different form, but that's the way it went. We, we came and fought as hard as we could, and we're, we're proud of that. I think, too, we have to give Florida Southern credit because they're an incredible team. Like, even if we had our full lineup, it would have been a good game. It would have been a lot more fun to watch. Um, not, not discounting anything that the younger girls did because they did an awesome job, but it was just they're a very competitive team, and so being able to play against girls like that, that's something that we've dreamed about since we were young. Like, we grew up in the middle of nowhere in Alabama, and we're like, hey, we're playing these big girls from Florida. This is awesome. <laughs> and so it's just, it's cool to be down here with teams like that, and they are an incredible team, and they, they play a very, very good game. Any other questions? 